Greetings in Christ. I'm Pastor John Fritz from Hope Evangelical Lutheran Church, continuing our midweek Lenten devotions from the excellent devotion series by Concordia Publishing House, Return to the Lord. Today's devotion is entitled, Like a Roaring Lion. 1 Peter 5, 6-11 says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 22, verse 13 says, They opened wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. When Peter wrote the words of today's reading, he might have had Psalm 22 in mind like a ravening and roaring lion. By comparing the devil to a roaring lion that wants to devour us, Peter allowed us to see that our dear Lord Jesus faced the same dangers we ourselves face. Jesus was surrounded by roaring lions, as it were, ministers of Satan, who desired to overwhelm and destroy him. When Jesus died, the lion thought he had won. However, the victory was only temporary. Christ has risen from the dead. He lives and all his enemies shall be utterly defeated. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Where is the safest place for us to be? The safest place is near the cross of Christ, where the lion was silenced and rendered toothless. Where can we go so that we may be as close as possible to the cross of Christ? We can go to the Lord's Supper, where the benefits of the cross are served up for us. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death and victory over the devil until he comes. 1 Corinthians 11:26. I shall return, O Lord, by coming to your table. Find me faithful. Amen.